All right, I think Mad Scientist is strong enough to keep, maybe even both, we can get two secrets out and trade with stuff. Seems pretty potent, actually. And an explosive sheep, we finally get it. Well, we've been mulligan ning for every- Oh my- What? Oh, uh, now I'm gonna- <sighs> Typical. Now it's gonna not be the right zero powers. Okay, that's good for us. I think we just, since we have another one, we may as well do it now. What does it switch to? Gift. Now we need the big game hunter or a way to freeze it for the doomsayer. That is done. I wonder if he's programmed not to hero power into doomsayer. Should we find out? I know the AI is programmed not to like play minions into it. Gonna find out. I have a suspicion. Hero power, hero power, hero power. Yes! I knew it! Taking advantage of programming instead of um... Actually making the right move. This actually won't be able to... I get, uh, can draw the other ice barrier, I guess it's still correct. Back to two twos. Gonna be a 5-4. I guess we're gonna want a flame strike pretty soon. Now we get the big game hunter. It's gonna 5-4. I guess we do this. No, because we're going to flame strike next turn anyway. I think we do nothing, weird as it looks. We just hope he plays things that have 4 health or less. That's okay. We can ping it next turn. His hero power is going to be 2-2-2 two, two, two ox. Hopefully it switches to whelps because we're probably going to explosive sheep the turn off there. We could also Frost Nova, wait for him to play more stuff. How greedy do we want to be? I think this is too good a flame strike. Whoa, okay. I guess we big game hunt to that. Did switch to the whelps? Yes, okay, so we big game hunt to that and put explosive sheep out. Gonna need Alex Straza at some point. That's a waste of a card. He did it before hero powering. That's pretty unusual. We do still have blizzards. At 10 mana we... Hmm. I guess we wait to flame strike. He'll probably play more stuff. We can get a bunch of fireballs. Our card draw has not been that good this game. He's used... how many rampages does he have? Hopefully not too many more. How do we get an empty board? Guess we flame strike this. Pinging doesn't really... oh, it kind of helps actually. Or we might want a blizzard. If we get a blizzard. I think we got a flame strike, kills too much stuff. We'll take six damage, that's definitely more than we'd like. Became Gith, that's a problem. Do we die next turn? Snowball. 
Frost Nova and hope to kill more things with the blizzard. What's his thing? Oh, uh, it's gonna be Gith. How are we gonna deal with Gith? I guess Frost Nova Doomsday or something like that. I gotta kill. I uh, focus on one thing, at one problem at a time. Gith actually is not. Uh, can't Alex draw that thing up. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I guess we got a Frost Nova. And Doomsayer. Can we get lethal? We'll have 26 damage to do. Can destroy one of these. It's gonna do eight damage. Want to destroy both? How much damage do we actually have? We said we need uh, twenty-six. We're gonna have six, and eleven, seventeen. If we could survive one, if we could Alex draw to him while we're safe. Problem is we're gonna die. If we had our other ice block, actually, we could do it, I think. I don't know. Well, let's see, if I ping him now, we're doing 7 damage, takes him down to 34. Then we have fireballs. And stuff. Maybe we Antonidas freeze the board. Then we have six and six. Then we Alex draws at him. Then we have six and six is twelve and three is fifteen. It's not enough. Ah, uh, we're just missing like a couple critical cards. Do we need more fireballs? Is the question. The thing is, this just pings down his armor. So we could do that and Frost Nova. I don't know. We just don't have what we need. We need like another freeze or an ice block or... Big game hunt. We have a lot of things which could help us. Can we actually draw them is the question. Oh man, is he flooding the board. Doomsayer to pair with that would have been so amazing. That might actually help. Can ping down his armor to... Alex draws him next turn, he... yeah. Theoretically possible. We're gonna Alex draws him anyway, so... It's a waste of damage to actually put this on him. We just wanted it. We have to get rid of the armor no matter what. Okay, so now we Alex draws him and get popped. And then we hope to draw another ice block. That actually will give us 15 damage. So unless he can heal, I think we just won. He pops us in pretty much the worst way possible. Yep. Okay, we get it. Frostbolt was... Exactly what we needed. Extra fireballs not enough. Or, well, another uh, ice block would have worked too. Cool! Ren Blackhand taken out in heroic mode with Freeze Mage. Let's take a look at the deck. I won't spend a lot of time on it because it's pretty typical for a Freeze Mage. Um, the main difference is that there are two big game hunters. That's not normal. <laughs> Um, but, uh, you have your Frost Bolts and Ice Lance for Burn, Doomsayer to combo with Frost Nova, which unfortunately we never got the combo. 
Explosive Sheep to deal with his early flood of 2-2s. Mad Scientist to pull out your secrets, your ice blocks, and your ice barriers, which buy you life and extra terms. Arcane Intellect to draw cards. Frost Nova to buy you time or ideally combo with Doomsayer. Uh, Acolyte of Pain, you always want to ensure you draw more than once off of this. You never just play it um, into a board that can kill it in one one attack. You play it and ping it or play it into a board of two twos, etc. Um, big Game Hunters for the Gifts and the Draconid Crushers and the Rampaged uh, Minions of the World. Uh, Fireball for damage, or to kill a minion if you're desperate. Uh, it does run 2 Flame Strike, which is not that common for Freeze Mage. Um, nowadays but given how much he floods his board we want more ways to clear it um archmage to get you the extra bit of damage because of his extra 15 armor um you kind of need a little bit more kick a little bit more damage um that's what antonitis is there for i uh, you know expect him to die instantly because of the one mana card that destroys a legendary minion but uh, so um he's never going to live past one turn so you only play him when you can ideally frostbolt and ice lance and we were trying to save up for that but and would have done it that way if not for the fact that um he had minions on the board very high attack minions that were about to kill us and alex draws obviously to set him to 15 um which kind of sets him to 30 effectively so that you can burn him down and that's the deck um, worked for us on the uh, third attempt, I believe. The first time we were really close, but both big game hunters were in the bottom four cards, and he got a uh, gift very early and then got it again soon after, and that hurt us a lot, otherwise we probably would have won. Second time we just got crushed, terrible opening hand, third time we won. Uh, that's the deck, hope you have fun with it if you try it out, see you next time.